Wow, that was heavy, that. Welcome, y'all. Welcome to Homestead Heart. We're going live, y'all. They're taking down the tree. Maybe we should turn around. You think we ought to turn this way and turn the camera around? Yeah. One sec. We got to be flat. Follow us. How's that? Oh, wait. I don't know if they're going to be able to see us, though. Huh? I don't know if they're able to see us, though. Are they going to get here? I hope so. Yeah, this is what's happening. They're taking trees down. They're taking these trees down, y'all. Finally taking these trees down. We've had to wait since the storm because they've been so busy. Got, got a lot of heavy, heavy logs coming down. I'm so glad to have this thing taken from over our house. That yeah. means so much. Yeah, it was leaning like this way. Kind of lean to it. And it's twisted at the top. Yeah. See that big log right there. So we're gonna sit down and just have a morning chat with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my little thing, so I can't see the comments. Okay. Look, it's all over us. Okay, well, let me uh, go get your. Uh... You don't have to. I, I, I know. I can use your phone. I don't have my glasses though. What are your glasses at? They are on the house. Okay, I'm gonna go and get it. I'll be back. Get the chain there. Okay. Okay, you just be careful. <laughs> that way, that way. Okay, so we're gonna Woo! <laughs> Hold tight, y'all. I can't see any comments right now. Y'all know I need them them extra eyes. <laughs> I'm so glad this thing is coming down. I don't know what to do. That's not the only one. There are going to be two trees coming down as a result of the storm damage because the other one is damaged so bad that the whole thing could fall on our house. It's on the other side, not far. I don't know if you remember the video where we showed you the big tree that fell over. Well, the tree that could potentially fall on our house is sitting just behind that one, closer to our house. So that one has to come down because if it, if a wind blows too hard, I fear that entire tree is gonna fall on our house. So that one's coming down today as well. I'll be able to see comments when he come back with my glasses. <laughs> they're doing a great job too, and they're working so fast. Now, all of the logs you all, we are keeping for firewood. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning to everybody. I'm gonna tell y'all the tree I really want to come down next is this one. Right here, the one that damaged the barn. I want that one down too. I think Mr. H is gonna talk to him and ask them how much extra How much extra would it cost for them to just cut back a few of those limbs like the ones that are hanging I got two big ones that's hanging over the barn and then one really long one that's hanging over the raised bed garden so I wonder how much extra they would charge us for that but this H is gonna ask them and see this morning 
I can't see your comment. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, them some pretty big logs too. That's gonna make some excellent firewood, y'all. I'm gonna bring this one. with my glasses. Woo, how y'all doing this morning? Good morning, good morning, y'all. Peace and blessings to everybody. Oh, he brought my glasses, y'all. He brought my glasses. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. H. You're welcome. How my super subs doing out there? It's good to see y'all. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Oh, I can finally see some comments. Good morning. Good morning, Irene. Good morning, y'all. Let me get set up over here. coming down because the tree was sitting right on top of our bedroom. Right on top. It was leaning right over. Yeah. And, you know, like going to sleep, having that thought, you know, that this tree, a limb or something could come down, that was kind of scary, you it know? It really was. It really was to have to deal with that every day, you know? 
So yeah, I'm just glad that that tree is finally, finally coming down, y'all. Sure will sleep better. Yeah. Sure will sleep better. Sure will. Yeah, but they not gonna let us keep their seats here. <laughs> they gotta move on to the next stop. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Oh, man, look at that. That's still not the big one. The one that's all twisted up there. <laughs> oh. Mary Ellen, our roof. Our roof um, windows and uh, roof windows, the door, the front, the front door. The DJ on the floor. Yeah, water coming in. Right, yeah. yeah, coming into the house from the roof. So yeah. I think they're gonna take the, the twisted branch, the one, the twisted part down. I think they're gonna take that one down, but it's just twisted up there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a technique that they use, and I was wondering how they was gonna do it. Yeah. They got a, a thick rope hooked up to the truck and they tied around the branch. Yeah. Yes, it is expensive. Lord knows it's expensive. But you know what? Y'all, I'm telling you. <laughs> to be able to lay down and go to sleep without worrying about the wind blowing too hard. Yeah. And the tree falling in your lap. Yeah. <laughs> Other places. <laughs> Not just in your lap, but, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It was just a dangerous situation. Thank you, Free Press. Yeah. This is definitely the time to be getting all of your jars and lids, y'all. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> I wonder what kind of chainsaw music. <laughs> I see some of you so called Husky. Oh, the Husky Havana thing. Oh. Oh. Logs coming down. They are coming down, y'all. They are coming down. and worse. Yeah. Year by year. Hey, Broke Farmer. Good to see you. <laughs> Broke Farmer's in the house. Good to see you. I enjoyed your video the other day. I've been watching, I watch all your videos. <laughs> yeah. 
Huh? I think that's the insurance guy that's here. Okay, here we go. Mr. Agent's gonna go talk to the insurance guy. I don't, I don't have time to talk to him right now because he didn't got on my last nerve. Just to let y'all know. He didn't got on my last nerve. And here he comes. This old scraggly look. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I'm a little upset with this person. So y'all, <laughs> I know, right? I know. So, uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what's going on this morning with them coming out to get everything taken down, the trees and um, him coming to look at the roof damage. I guess he didn't believe what the uh, roofing company said. I guess he didn't believe that estimate. <laughs> so he had to come see for himself. He drove two hours to come see for himself because the pictures wasn't enough. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, Linda. No, no, no. <laughs> Calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> I know, Mary Ellen. I know, I know, I know. I know, but I don't mind going above and beyond. So I'm just really glad that they are finally getting this taken down and uh, getting all the damage and stuff, you know, just resolved. I'm telling you, you can sleep a lot easier with getting these things down. Now remember, I was telling you about this tree. This tree being like the, the this was the tree that Tymu was under. Well, he yeah, kind of under it because his doghouse was sitting right here. And with his doghouse being there, when the tornado came through, y'all, it flipped our dog into the barn. And he was on the inside of the doghouse when it actually happened. So he was terrified. Yeah, he was really, really terrified. Yeah. Yeah. We we are. Now, they're not going to be doing any chipping because they don't do that. I wish they did. And we don't have a chipper. So I wish they did because they would be chipping all of that up and using those wood chips in the garden. Yeah. Let me see, I'm trying to read your comments too. Oh, uh, best year journey, what you talking lady? I'm talking about, this happened on the floor. <laughs> but though, it really was a lot of people though that was affected by this. And I mean, hundreds of, and hundreds of, hundreds of people. So yeah, it really was a lot of people affected by this. So we knew it wasn't gonna be like a right away thing. Yeah. I know, Lisa, that's true. Hey, Fallen Sky Prepper, good to see you in the house. Huh? No, they're not paying for the trees at all because the trees, because it wasn't on the house, they don't pay for it if it's not on the house. So the whole tree has to fall on the house in order for them. <laughs> Even though the tree was leaning over about to fall on the house, until it actually falls on the house, they don't pay for that. And you might be right when it comes to that roof, right? So, y'all, I'm telling you, it's, it's been like, Mr. H is walking them around showing them like the damage that they don't want to pay for because they said that uh, the insurance doesn't cover it if it's not your house. So everything else on your property can be damaged. Like our fence, like the fence in the front of our house. My son has already fixed the fence in the front of the house. The fencing that's around the pool, y'all saw the tree fell on the fence. They don't pay for none of that. They pay for the house. 
Thank you, SJ Smith, for your super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Yeah. Yeah, insurance is, is very difficult. Very difficult with insurance companies a lot of times, y'all. Very difficult. And we got a lot of insurance with these people. We do. We got a lot of insurance. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much for your super chat. Yes, ma'am, love notes. I saw that. I saw the fire. Um, I did a video talking about Azure. And um, right after, y'all know I hadn't been checking emails. We've been like tremendously busy around here and Mr. H had to take a day off today because he hadn't been able to get a day off because they had been so busy so he finally was able to get a day off today and that's good because the tree people are coming the insurance person is here and the window guys are coming back out some more window guys are coming back out today as well so I'm glad that he's here so I don't have to deal with all of this by myself, right? I'm so glad. I don't know why he's walking this guy around everywhere. He ain't trying to pay us no money for this, for this roof. <laughs> oh man, he done took his phone now and got no internet. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just so you know, we are with Farmers Insurance. That's who we're with, Farmers Insurance. Yeah, and um, depending on how things go, I don't know. We may be looking for another insurance company. Yeah, let me lower this down some, y'all. Hold on, my neck is stretching. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Um, I know uh, Melissa, but they also said that things like um, liquid, oh man, I missed a comment. Somebody just asked me if I saw their question about brown thumb. No, I did not. Post it again for me. Um, I know at Azure, um, the things that were going to be affected are things like honey, vinegar, um, now see that tree hang, uh, swinging from me. <laughs> Those things were affected. Honey, vinegar, and oils, right? So you can't get those things right now. And they did say that it was temporary. And I did reach out to them just to let them know that, you know, we were going to be praying that all will be well and um, glad that everybody is safe. So, yeah, I did reach out to them personally. Yeah. Okay, so I was looking for that question. American Family Insurance was the same. Somebody said they posted a question and I wanted to answer your question. Liberty Mutual, okay. Uh, brown Eyes, I have not been in that greenhouse yet. So, yeah. your name <laughs> yeah but they I don't think they're fruit um, yeah they did lose the facility but they didn't lose the product thank you so much
Yeah, y'all, so I don't know where Mr. H went with this guy. <laughs> it's best that he be here to talk to him anyway. <laughs> Woo, because my attitude was a little different. <laughs> I was like, okay, wait till we get here. <laughs> I'm just being real now. Yeah, Mr. H is showing them um, the damages because the tiller was in the barn where the thing came down and it rained all over that. I don't, and it won't even start anymore. So I don't know like what's gonna be what with any of that. You know, my biggest concern is the fact that my window my front door, my roof, right? Because there's water coming in to where the fireplace is at. And then we don't have power on a certain part either, like certain lights won't come on and um, electrical sockets in our room just blue. I mean, they're doing an excellent job with like getting this tree down. Y'all have a brown thumb. What do you do to make your garden grow? Um, you know, that's a very large question. <laughs> that's a very large question. I don't know if you've had an opportunity to look at our playlist from our 2020, 2021 garden season. It's, what we do here, I'll say it this way, what we do here is very simple. Okay. Susan Lewis emailed us, wanted to send us a chainsaw. Okay. Um, I haven't really checked our emails yet. I'm sorry about that. Um, but our um, mailing address. Love notes, could you put our mailing address out? Our mailing address, Love Notes, will put it out. Thank you so much, Susan. I apologize for not getting back to you and, and so many others who have sent us uh, emails, which is why I didn't even know what happened to Azure or Azure Standard until a lot of you uh, posted it in the comments. I had no idea because I hadn't checked emails, right? So, love notes, if you will, please put our mailing address there um, so that she can see that mailing address. Thank you so much, Susan. That is really, really very nice and very kind of you. That's very generous. Thank you so much because chainsaws are not cheap. And the two that we have, they're still in the shop. Yeah, so we really appreciate that offer very, very much. Yeah, we do. But um, about the brown thumb, our gardening playlist, 2020-2021, what we do, I'm gonna bring y'all a little closer so I can really see these comments, y'all. What we do in the garden is real simple. We don't make it complicated at all, you all. We don't make it complicated at all. We make it very, very simple because um, what we use is what you can really go and get from any big box store or you can get it from Amazon or we order our fertilizers because I know a lot of you have asked the question, where do we get our fertilizers from? And recently we started ordering from Seven Springs Farm. Yeah, Seven Springs Farm. They're very helpful. They have tons of organic fertilizers, which is, and, and the basic stuff too, right? Like your bone meal, blood meal, or feather meal, which is what we started. We started buying feather meal because we didn't want to use the blood meal anymore. Um, they have azomite, they have vermiculite, perlite. They were sold out of peat moss. But they have cocoa poria. They have all of the basics that most people use to grow a garden. So, 
Oh, I think we're gonna take that twisted branch down. So, those are things that you can buy anywhere. But we just chose to buy from there because of the size of the bags. The bags are 50 pound bags, 25 pound bags. So that's why we buy from them because we felt like we were being um, nickel and dime to death going to your big box places because you spend 10 bucks on a little bag of bone meal, right? When I can spend 30 bucks on a 50 pound bag of feather meal, bone meal, right? So now the shipping is, um, it can be expensive, but when we calculated what we spent in previous years getting what we needed, there was no, there was no comparison for us. And so what we did this time is that we just simply ordered, we didn't order very much last year. So we ran out, because uh, we planted so much. So we ran out. So this year what we did, we ordered more than what we needed. So we don't have to order next year. So the, and I'll show y'all when we go in the greenhouse, but, all of the fertilizers that we ordered, we ordered enough to last us for two growing, four growing seasons, right? Spring, summer, and fall. Well, I guess that's six growing seasons. <laughs> this year and next year, so we won't have to order next year. God willing, right? So, that shipping cost, that has been paid for, over and over again already with the savings from having to buy all the itty bitty bags, right? Because we have a large garden. If you have a smaller garden, if you have a smaller garden, then you can continue. Go and get your blood meal, your bone meal, go and get your that Miss Linda over at the New Orleans Garden and she loves that stuff, that fish emulsion, right? It comes in the little container or gallon jug. You can go and get that and uh, you can use that. And really that's all we've used. And then of course the chicken stuff from our chicken house. That's really our fertilizers right there. Very simple. Now, what we add new to that was the azomite minerals, right? All of those trace minerals that are found in the azomite. We started, we started using that last year and yes, to me it made a major difference because there were things that we used it on and things we didn't use it on and we noticed the difference. I know it's noisy, y'all. <laughs> but we just wanted to show y'all what was actually going on. And I'm sorry I can't really see if you all are commenting. But yeah. So hopefully everybody is growing a garden. Hopefully everybody is growing their groceries in some form of fashion this year. Am I missing something? I am missing a lot. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let me get out the camera. Oh, wait. The website is sevenspringsfarm.com. It's the number seven. Springsfarm.com. Love notes. Our dogs don't really bother our stuff. Now, <laughs> if I just got it in a bucket, all of our dogs love that stuff. I don't know why, but they do. And so they will be trying to lick out of it, even Jackson. But once I put it down in the hole in my garden beds and put my plant in and I mix it in with the soil a little bit in the bottom, then I really don't have to worry about anything digging it up. Yeah.
Oh yeah, the fish. They, are you saying bury the fish in the garden rose? Yeah. Yeah, that's good too because putting um, dead fish heads and stuff, which if you got a fish market in your area, they will give you the fish because they just throwing it out. They'll give you all that stuff if you ask for it. And if you take a bucket with a lid and just ask them if they will fill it up for you and you'll pick it up at the end of the day, they'll gladly do it for you. So that's the less stuff they got to throw out. They'll gladly do it for you. And then you can bury that in the ground. You might have to cover it with some lime or something because everything under the sun going to come for it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Beverly, we did see that. We just talked about that um, just a little bit ago. Uh, pigeon squirrel, it wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad. We had rain. We always get rain. We had rain. We had rain. And then, when I was watching um, Ryan Hall, he said that there was a tornado in our area. I'm like, really? I'm like, what? And then when I go to the front door, by then it was already happening. It was already happening. So that's why. All of our animals were outside. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, if we had a thought a tornado was going to hit our property. <laughs> I wouldn't have been cooking. <laughs> I wouldn't have been. There's a lot of stuff I wouldn't have been doing if I would have thought a tornado was going to hit our property. And I certainly would have had our dogs closer to me. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's something about tornadoes. They're not like a hurricane. You can see, you, you, you know a hurricane is coming, right? But a tornado, they just fall from the sky. And when a tornado falls from the sky, you trying to think about how you can save your life right you ain't thinking about the chickens <laughs> you know you ain't I, I can tell you right now you ain't thinking about none of that you thinking about oh my god please don't let this thing pick me up and throw me somewhere you know that's that's what's on your mind if you've never been in one before i can assure you some things just ain't gonna be on your mind when something like that is coming to your house good morning from Gigi's garden Good morning to everybody that I haven't spoke to. Yeah, Jessica, lime does help cover the smell of the fish. Thank you so much, Joyce. t Paul, somebody else told me they use uh, sardines in their garden. They just put the whole can of, not the can, but they dump the whole thing into the garden and they use sardines instead. So yeah, I've heard that too. I've seen that Back to Eden Garden documentary. I saw it years and years ago. Yeah. We did see the Azure fire. I did hear about it. Good morning, Anil. Thank you so much. I'm glad I was watching Ryan Hall too, y'all. Tornadoes do just drop. They do. And that's the scary thing because um, one of our neighbors, his, his property was hit as well. And he had roof damage and trees down. And, you know, we went to check on him and his wife because they're older. You know, I think they're in their, like, late 60s. And actually, you know, he was at work when she called him. So we went over there to just see if they needed us for anything, you know. The insurance guy is on the roof. Y'all see him? Hold on. Y'all see Y'all see his little self up here on this roof here, interrupting these people while they, you see what I'm saying? I know he got it. I know we got to do his job. But I told this man that they was going to be here cutting down trees today. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the one with the attitude this morning with this man. Maybe it's just me because from the get-go, he's had 
this demeanor like they don't want to pay for our roof to be repaired, okay? So that's been his energy on the telephone with all of my conversations with him. His energy has been that way, and so I already kind of have an attitude. So yesterday when he said, um, if what the, uh, how did he put it? Okay, I'm coming. If, uh, how did this man say this about these people, the roofing people? He said, if what they said is true, then they'll pay. If what they said is not true, well, they won't be able to pay that. I say, so you saying the man lying? <laughs> I say, so you say the man is lying? What you, I, and I asked, so what are you trying to say? Are you saying the man lying? About the cost to repair the roof? Or what are you saying? So look, he said, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not trying to say that. I'm like, that's what it sounds like to me that you're trying to say. So what are you saying? Hold on, y'all, let me get through a lot of these comments. So, so, well, actually, if this man don't do right, I promise you, I'm calling everybody above him. Hey, babe. Hey. Yeah. Uh. So what this insurance guy saying? Well, insurance guy, uh, he's being real picky. He's talking about uh, he want to see exactly where the water came in and see the damage. I'm letting it know it's dry now, but you can see the water marks on the, on the, uh, the uh, fireplace brick. Show them the, the, uh, the ceiling where it came in and all of that. Oh, you went inside the house? Yeah. Did he walk on my carpet with his shoes on? No. Oh, okay. So, uh, so everything is, uh, I showed him everything, you know, yeah. where the water coming in and the mark on the, the kitchen ceiling. Yeah. Water marks in the bathroom. He was saying he don't see how the water came in through one way or the other. Saying you know because the seem like the, the, the house is kind of like slanted in one way or whatever. I said I don't know did it come in through the frame or whatever. But when you get on the roof, you will see where the holes at on the roof. I don't know how, exactly how water traveled, but it got in the house. See, this man gonna make me go tell him something. I'm telling you. This man gonna make me go tell him something. Cause you're not gonna play me. He gonna make me go tell him something. Yeah, I'm telling you. Now, one thing I'll tell you, Mrs. H, I try to be the most peaceful person in the world, but don't pull my chain. And that's what he trying to do. Yeah. That's what he trying to do. And I'm not gonna play with him. And one thing I don't do when it comes to business, I don't mix words. I'm very straight up. I'm very straight up. Now, okay. The nice hat comes off, and I'm all business when it comes to things like this, and I'm very no nonsense when it comes to this stuff. He better do right. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, he I better showed, do right. I showed him the evidence. Yeah. Showed him what's going on. He better do right, because yeah, I'm not playing no. with him. I'm not gonna play no games with these people. You gonna do right, because we pay our insurance, and we are never late. So you are gonna do right by us, okay? Yeah. But we gonna have some problems. Yeah. We gonna have some problems. And I'm gonna see them through to the end. I guarantee. So, yeah, we still. Uh, I sure want to end this live because I want to start recording everything that he says and does. Now. That's what I want to do. I want to record everything that he says and does. No, just, just keep the live going, and then once uh. He get ready to go. We'll talk to him. You know. You know. We'll see what the results. What he. What he. What conclusion he come up with. Y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see my room. But if you just look at it from here, you can see all the water damage. Sorry, y'all. You can see all of the water damage from the roof. We're gonna go over here again. We're gonna look at it. This joke is gonna make me tell him something.
to show you. I don't know if you can tell it, but you can see all of the water damage up here on the roof going all the way down. You can see it. There are holes in my roof up here. And I'll show y'all him up here because he's not wanting to do right by us, okay? So I'm showing y'all all of it. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Let me lift this up. Hold on one second. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But it's a lot of damage there. Can y'all see that water? Because it's a lot of it. You can see the damage. It's clear. You don't even have to be up on the roof to see it. You can see it from right here. You can see it. You can see the discoloration. Well, but he's, he's marking all the damage spots. I don't care what he's doing. He better do it right. That's all I'm saying. He better do it right. Look at all of this. See, the thing about insurance companies, they don't like to pay when you get damage done to your house. But he had better do right. And I mean, look at all of this. Look at all of this. Oh, that's why I care what he there. say. He better, he better get my roof together. I know that much. From right here, they stand to the side. You can literally see the discoloration of the roof from where the water went, where the wind picked up the towels, and water is all water is all underneath there, coming into our house, coming into our house. So yeah, this joker better do right. I mean it. I'm not going to play no games with it. He had better do right. Let's keep the line going. Don't upset me. <laughs> you going to upset me. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's keep the line this going. This man going to upset me. Hold on, y'all. Let me get this camera, camera back right. Okay. Hold on, y'all. This is H, y'all. Uh, it's all the way up on 10 now, y'all. Not, not yet. I'm not on 10. <laughs> not yet, huh? No, this is a 5. I'm not on 10. I'm at 5 right now. Oh, you're on 5? I'm at 5 right now. <laughs> but he can take me there. Let me bring y'all a little closer. Yeah. Yeah, like I made up a tornado. Come on, what? <laughs> What? Bruh. <laughs> Let me calm down. It's their job to try to save the company money, to try to be deceitful. But, uh, you know, uh, the evidence is right there, so. So, you know. He going around with some paint marking circles. Marking circles. You can see the damage to the roof. Why you got to come? You drove two hours to put some circles on the roof? I guess that's Man, you better get my roof together. I'm going to gather him together. You better get my roof together. They always trying to swindle people at their money. They're always trying to swindle people, and I'm gonna send this live video to Farmers Insurance, or I might do a whole separate one with clips from this one, because I, if I have to email this video to them every day for the next 60 days, I will do that to get somebody to contact me, because it's unfortunate that they have people working for them that are not for the people. If you pay your money to insurance companies, then they should be more than willing to help you. Isn't the traumatic experience of going through something that could cause your house to be damaged, isn't that enough? Yeah. Isn't that enough? You want to keep putting people through things? Isn't it enough what we've gone through already? And you just want to keep putting people through things unnecessarily? Yeah. Come <clears throat> on. What is wrong with these people? Yeah, what is wrong with these people? 
So I don't care what I have to do. These people are gonna hear from me. And they need to know, look, if you're gonna send people out here, at least send people that got some empathy. Yeah. At least some people out there can empathize with what you've gone through and not just be, well, we'll see if we can pay or we'll see if we're not going to be able to pay. Who wants to deal with that kind of attitude when you've gone through something like this and you got water coming in your house? Who wants to deal with that? Yeah. So this bus to bet, I'm, <laughs> well, let's so see. this guy better get, he better, he better, he better act right. He show better act right. And when he come off that roof, we're all gonna go talk to him, okay? We're all gonna go talk to him. Yes, we are. Me, Mr. H, and all of y'all. We're going to talk to this dude. Oh, you come to Boston now. I'm, no, we can all talk, that's fine. What are we finna do now? Oh, okay, go right ahead. Go ahead and get a look. Go ahead. Go ahead and get a look. Go ahead and get a look. Down and look. So, anywho, you all, we are the news. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've gone through enough. We've gone through enough. We've gone through enough. We shouldn't have to keep going through, you know what I'm saying? We shouldn't have to keep going through what we're going through. What happened to us was traumatic enough. We don't need any more traumatizing experiences dealing with insurance companies. We need for them to handle this. Yeah, that's, that's right, we can all talk. We can all talk. All of us can have this conversation because we ain't got nothing to hide. We all can have this conversation. I'm sorry y'all. I'm sorry y'all seeing me get upset like this because this don't happen often. I don't get upset often. It take a lot to upset me. A whole lot. Whew. It take a lot to get me upset. And he's doing it because he's trying to play us, right? Yeah. We ain't trying to make something bigger than what it is. We being truthful about what happened to our home. Yeah. And as long as we've been with this insurance company, we've never had a claim. Not one claim. Not one. Not one. Mm-hmm. Not one. Up. Holding them people up so he can come and put some circles on the roof. Son of a gun. Oh, oh, oh. I'm telling you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. Yes, yes, because there's water in my house. Yes, there's water coming in my house. All around my fireplace. You can literally see it in the kitchen. You can see it in the kitchen. <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna take y'all in the kitchen and I'm gonna show you the ceiling in the kitchen where the water was coming in the kitchen. Now remember, my ceiling was just painted, what, four months ago? So it was painted, it was just painted. So you will be able to see it clearly, the water. Well, actually, Shirley, the roof guy did say that the shingle seals were broken. He said that. He said that. I heard him say that. Thank you, October Opal. Yeah, I heard him say the shingle seals were broken. Yeah. Yeah, they were here for a minute looking at our roof. Yeah. I know it will. 
build because if that roof don't get repaired, water gonna keep coming in the house and then we're gonna have more problems, right? And I'm calling them right back. I'm calling them right back. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, everything on the roof. And you know what, that's one thing, you're right, I'll say this. Insurance companies make billions every single year. They make billions and billions and billions of dollars every single year off of people like us. And then when something happens, they don't want to pay for it to be repaired. So they sit and they make their billions while we sit with water coming in our house, right? So yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Patricia, I don't have that in me right now. I'm sorry. Because one thing I don't like is for people to try to take advantage or misuse or abuse, especially with me being the way that I am. I wouldn't do that to anybody. So I have a problem when somebody tries to do it to me. So I'm sorry. Kindness is not with me right now. I have, a, I have something else going on <laughs> right now. Yeah. But I'm cool, I'm calm, I'm calm. It might not look like it, but I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty calm right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. H is. It takes Mr. H even longer to get upset. He's the, he'll, he'll try to be calm the entire time. He really will. He really will. He's, he's better, he's better than I am. It is. So yeah. Oh yeah, we have everything on video. <laughs> Remember when the storm came, we did video. We recorded everything, so we still have it all. Yeah, we still have it all. Yeah. I know, yeah. Shirley. I know. I know. I know. I've heard. <laughs> I've heard. And we only went with this company because they were supposed to be like the best. But we'll see. Because, yeah, we'll see. We're going to find out. <laughs> we're going to find out. Yeah. I know TLC in the garden. Everybody says that. And even though they like to do that commercial like a good neighbor. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right, LaShonda. It does take a lot. It take a lot for him. But when he's there, Exactly. Yeah. Everybody claims to be the best until they have to pay a claim. <laughs> now that's true. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> that's right, RR. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I say, you know, is that, um, Okay. 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 Uh, he finna go over everything right now, and he gonna put it in the computer and see how much they gonna pay him. So. So you heard what Mr. H just said. Yeah. So he gonna go over everything now, and we finna see what the results are.
you get three different estimates. Okay. I need this man to leave my property is what I need for him to do right now. You talking about holding my mule. I need for him to go. I need for him to just leave. I really do. I need for him to leave. I need for him to leave. <laughs> him to go. <laughs> Woo. I need for him to go. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. Quickly. Circles is good. He was marking the damage. I know that it might seem like it was good, but it, it really let me tell you why it wasn't good. Because the entire roof is damaged. So he goes and he marks circles. But where you can see clearly that water is underneath the shingles, you can see it right there. Ain't no mark around none of that. You can clearly see the discoloration of my roof. My roof is five years old. You can clearly see the discoloration that wasn't there before the tornado. So you can see that on this side all the way down. You can see it. So for him to mark them little circles, that wasn't good. He should have been squaring off the entire roof. Yeah. So what we'll probably be doing, if I'm not happy with what he emailed us, what we'll probably be doing, like I said, is uh, going way above him and get somebody else out here who can do a job, do their job, job. Cause he ain't doing, he ain't doing the job. He's been, he's been like this since when, when we first talked to him on the phone. <laughs> from day one. Um, the original insurance adjuster we had, he was very nice. You know, he was very empathetic. I'm so sorry this happened to y'all. And, um, you know, we're gonna get you taken care of and we're gonna come out and look at everything, you know, don't worry. And I mean, he was very nice, right? But then they took it from him and gave it to this guy that just left you, okay? They took it to him and gave it to this guy. And not only did it take this guy three days to call us after the case had been transferred to him, it took him three days to call. And when he did call, he wasn't very helpful. His tone was just the worst, right? And I finally had to tell him, look, I know it's more people with more damage than what we got, and we respect that, but we still want our care. Oh, I didn't mean to imply Oh no, but you did imply. So no, this dude has been like this since um, my very first conversation with him and he's been that way since. 
Yeah. What his name is? I forgot his name. But I got it in my mind, but I forgot his name. But yeah. Well, actually, I uploaded all of the pictures to um, Farmer's Insurance. They have a portal that you can upload the pictures to. So all of them, they have them. They have them. Yeah. That tone, I'm telling you, you're right. Because you could at least like act like you give a care, right? <laughs> Even if you don't, you can at least act like it. You can pretend. You can pretend. I'm so sorry this happened. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo. Hi, Halal Family Homestead. So. No, the initial adjuster wasn't from another state. He was um, actually the adjuster for this area. But when they decided that it was going to be a catastrophe, then they changed it over to the Georgia Catastrophe Unit is what they called it. And that's how we ended up with that dude. It was swinging our way. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. <laughs> they get bonuses based on what they say. The company, really? I didn't know that. What? I am gonna, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna call them today and I'm gonna tell them. I really did not appreciate this 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 person. And I need somebody with better spirit, a better energy, and somebody who is willing to do the job of adjusting, not the job of trying to save the company money so he can get a, a fat check in his pocket. Right? So yeah, we want somebody who actually cares about making sure that it is done properly. I'm not trying to save the company money. But you know what they say about stuff rolling down here. So, yeah. If anything, farmers insurance is about to lose some company. I, I, I can tell you that right now. Because a lot of our family has farmers insurance, but I can guarantee they're gonna lose some, they're gonna lose some folks. Very much. Nah, Rich Dad, them trees stand right here. <laughs> them trees stand right here. Them logs stand right here. We gonna use all of that for some firewood. That's got to go in our fire in our fireplace. But I tell you what, we gotta get that we gotta get that roof fixed because it's water coming down where our fire uh, our, our wood stove is at. There's water coming all down the side. Yeah. Now the thing is, is that they do not chip up. They don't have a chipper, so they don't do any wood chipping. They have this big old truck where they're gonna have to haul all of this um, So they're hauling all of that away. And then the logs that they're putting over there, we're keeping those and we're gonna cut those up when we get when we get our chainsaw so we can cut those up and make those into logs for the wood stove. Okay, thank y'all so much. Yeah. We're in a wood chicken. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I'm gonna talk to the agent and see if he wanna rent one from uh, the Home Depot. He told us not. He told us not to put a tarp up there. 
Yeah. He told us not to put a tarp up there until he look at it. Yeah, but we're gonna tarp it now though. Now that he's gone, we're gonna put the tarp up there. Yeah. You still cleaning up from the tornado in New York? Wow. That's really something. Y'all, it was a lot of people who had a lot of tornado damage. A lot of tornado damage around us, right? Some people, like, one of our neighbors, the tree went through the roof of the front of his house, right? And we, we got a big old hole. So, yeah. Like I said, I know a lot of people suffer way worse than we did. But that does not mean that we should not be treated fairly. So, that's going was terrible. Yeah, that was a really bad storm. Wow. I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> no, if it was going to rain, we would have covered it. But it hasn't been raining. But we're covering it today. Yeah, Mr. H took him in the house. That's why I said, did that man walk on my carpet with his shoes on? <laughs> yeah. He wasn't going in that attic. He, he could have went because we told him about the attic. We told him about the wiring in the attic was damaged because we don't have power on one side of our house. So he could have went up there, but he didn't want to go up there. He didn't come dressed for that. But he could have went up there. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. Mr. H hasn't come back yet, so. I wonder if that man's still here. Oh, I think they're gonna take that big, that twisted one down, y'all. This is going to be so interesting to me. Oh, that's not the twisted one. Mr. H took him. Y'all know we were working on uh, fencing. Y'all know we were fencing the property off. Mr. H took him down the fence line to show him the trees that fell across our fence. So. <laughs> so some parts of the fence is uh, damaged real bad. But that's okay. We'll just have to redo it. Y'all know fencing that went up from, the fencing that we are, us are using it went up from 199 to 269 a roll. Yeah. So if y'all gonna do some fencing, y'all better go get the material now because Tractor Supply did let us know that fencing was going up again in June. I think they say June. But we pretty much have all the fencing that we need. We're we're just still getting it all done. Yeah, so. We gotta make some fence line repairs. All the animals are fine. He went up on the lift for you. Yeah.
Thank you so much. And the chainsaws that he's using, the chainsaws that he's using, it's not even in. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. Them logs, they look small. But them logs are big and they heavy. And when they fall on your house, they damage your house. They damage your house. And these things fell on our house and rolled off. Big Bertha's fine, Haleo Family Homestead. She still ain't acting right, but she fine. Yeah. That tree, y'all know, I showed y'all this tree that they're cutting down here. This tree, the storm is, it pulled it apart from itself. So it's literally just held there, but it's a crack. And the crack has gotten bigger since the storm. So this tree is literally one strong storm from being ripped apart and the two trees falling, one on our house and then this, this side right here falling in this direction. That has to come down. Yeah. Down the street after the storm, wow. Wow. Working on that big, big giant one that's directly over our house now. Good morning. Our email address. Would one of the moderators put our email address in the chat, please? Homesteadheart.com at gmail.com. Thank you, Trent Gordon. Uh, no, ma'am, Janet. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, prayers for everybody affected by these storms and the storms that's on the way because there's more storms coming. And it's cloudy right now, overcast. I still have crops I need to get in the garden. The, uh, the uh, persimmon, is he gone? No, he's still working on it. I... The, the, the insurance guy? Yeah. I... I just went around the front. Did okay. you show him the screen and the window and all yeah, that? He, yeah, he took pictures of that. So, front part of the, the, uh, the other side of the roof, facing the front, you know, the shingles were shifted. Yeah. So, he tried to say that was the way how they was installed. I said, no, they wasn't installed. I said, the storm damage did that. So, he right that up tried to pass it off as that's the way how they was installed. Do y'all hear this? So, so I told him, no, it wasn't like that. So you gotta write that up as storm damage because you can see the discolored, darker part of the shingle, lighter yeah. part. So, yeah, so he tried to do that and I stopped him and told him, no, this, this part here is caused by the storm. So. He said he seen nails in there like we had a tarp on the roof. I said, no, we didn't have no tarp on the roof. We didn't have no tarp on the roof, so. He know that. Yeah. Because he had already asked me. And yeah. I said, no, we are gonna put one up there. He said, well, don't put it up there until I come. Yeah. I said, okay. So that joker knew it wasn't no tarp up there. He know we didn't put no tarp up there. Yeah, but he. You are right, Azania. He is being wicked. Yeah. He's being very, very wicked. Yeah. Yeah. He's being very. And then, so I told him. I said, with the with the uh, water damage that's in the house, make sure you write that up. You got pictures. And he tried to swim his way out of that, but I told him no. So it's good that I stayed there because he was trying to write it up as like that's the way how the shingles was installed. Like they're. Who gonna install shingles sideways? <laughs> what roofer you know? 
gonna install shingles sideways. Yeah. But he's still in the front yard. Y'all wanna go to the front yard? Well, let him go ahead and type it up and then when he comes to the conclusion, then, then we just show up. Oh, we, yeah, we can go to the front yard so so he won't try to pull off. Oh, I don't care if he pull off, that might be best. Yeah, I'm calling them. Oh, All day. I, I should have left my phone with That's you. okay, that's okay. You still can see the comments? Yeah, I'm, I'm up close and in person. <laughs> oh, you up close and in person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did he write up about the electric problem they had? Oh, uh, well, we need to go and, and uh, we need to go and make sure he do that. Let's go and make sure. I'm sorry, y'all. I told y'all we showed the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is the bad and the ugly. This is bad and ugly all mixed together. But why do that way though? What does he gain? What does he gain from being like this? I'm gonna let him bag up first. What does he gain from being like this? What does it benefit him to treat people that way? Oh, I think they should have taken the twisted branch down. We're going to miss it. I'm sorry, the camera wiggling so much. There go Bertha. Y'all see her? There go Bertha. She doing fine. She don't want to give, give us no peaches though. So what he doing? Sitting in his car? Yeah, he, he, he talking it up now. So I'm going to show y'all this because this dude is tricky. <laughs> like you're gonna hit the house. This man said, look at the shingles. This man said that the shingles was put on the house crooked. Who put shingles on the house crooked? Look at my window. Look at my window. Blinds tore all out of my window. That window now won't halfway close, right? Look at there. The uh, screens are gone. One screen on the ground, but it's tore all up. The other screen, this screen is gone. I don't know where it's at. This screen is on the ground. That window, we got it held up with uh, uh, a piece of wood because it will fall out. Yeah. Yeah, that's how much pressure. This door here, it ripped the door. This door here is not even connected to that thing that be up there anymore if the door is open right and you can see my shingles i don't know if y'all y'all i know y'all probably don't like what are you what am i looking for right but i'm telling you you can see how the shingles are lifted and crooked and this guy told my husband that the shingles was put on the house crooked Now, I'm going to be frank. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. He said that they were put up there crooked. So I've been in this house now for years. I think I would have recognized crooked shingles. Oh, yeah, he right there. I told y'all, when it comes to things like this, I don't mince my words, and I don't hide what I'm saying. I'm straight up. That's just me. So this man said that they were put up here crooked. That's stupid. That's stupid. And you ain't gonna make me believe that crap either. So now look, that window is being held up. Right here, got a stick in it, right? Got a stick in it. 
it'll fall out. It'll fall clean out. You see that? Y'all see that tree? Did we make up the tornado? Did we make up this storm? Did we pretend a tornado came through here and hit our property? This man better leave me alone. He don't know who he messing with. He don't know, I'm not the one for that. I don't even play them kind of games. I take advantage of no man and ain't no man gonna take advantage of me. I guarantee you that too. So yeah, this buster in this, in this vehicle behind me trying to pretend like all of this damage up here that was done, all of the, the shingles being twisted and lifted, they were put up there that way. That's what he said. They were put up there that way. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So farmers insurance is sending people out to make sure they don't pay when they when your property gets damaged they're sending people out to give bogus adjustments or whatever they call them Woo. they sending people out to give bogus information right so that they don't have to pay they're trying to water down the damages because they don't want to pay to get them fixed they don't want to do that yeah they don't want to do that they want to keep that money in their pocket. Yeah, so he can get a bonus, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're okay. We are okay, but we won't be if they don't fix our roof. Because do you know what happens if our roof don't get fixed? Water keeps coming in the house, right? That means now we run the possibility of getting what? Black mold. All of the drywall could be damaged. The, the roof and uh, the ceilings and all of that in my kitchen, the water coming in around my fireplace, that would literally make my home unlivable. So that won't be okay in the long run, right? That won't be okay in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, that won't be okay in the long run. Hold on, y'all. We're gonna go this stuff. for the camera moving about. Mr. H just told me to hold up, so I'm gonna hold up. Why this man got a Kansas license plate? What he doing here? What he doing here? He not even from Georgia? And Mr. H asked me to hold up, so I'm gonna hold up. I'm gonna wait right here like he asked me to. Y'all, I'm telling you. <sighs> but one thing I can say, I appreciate these tree guys, though. I appreciate these tree guys because <laughs> these tree guys are doing a phenomenal job up there. Look at there. They are doing a phenomenal job up there. Yeah. Very professional, very nice guys too. They're doing a great job. Oh yeah, he probably did rent it. I don't know, that can Now that's not a rental because it's got the ladder racks and all of that on top, so that's not a rental. They take they they taking that tree down little by little. Let me see what you said. Yeah, they bring them in from all over, right? I know they do. I know they do. This guy don't even live here, and that's probably why. Like 
<laughs> you have no real care and concern for the people that do. Yeah, that's probably why. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't know why Mr. H don't want me to come over there. <laughs> why he don't want me to come over there? Why Mr. H don't want me to come over there? <laughs> I'm gonna go over there. He won't let me come over there. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh. He don't want to be recorded. But no, he's not on camera. Okay. Yes, three one eight. Yeah. I can't hear him. Can he come out the vehicle so we can talk or what? Yes. No, he, he, I can't hear him. He was about verifying the. Um, yeah, I'm checking the phone number. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. So, so he's so, not going to finish up now. So okay. he's going to give us a call. Yeah, I'll call back when I get everything passed up. Okay. How but long the, do you think? But the, the roof, he's not going to be able to cover the whole I, roof. He said. I'm going to give you a call uh, probably later today. I've got to, I've got to get it to another appointment. So okay. Um, so I'm going to get this one finished up a little bit later. I'll have my supervisor. Okay, and he said you say you can't cover the whole roof. Well, I, I'm going to review everything with my supervisor before I make it. But, 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 but he didn't look at the electrical, right? No, he did not. Well, I'm, I'm not an electrician. I can't. Okay, well, I forgot to show you that uh, about the electrical. That's fine. The electrical people will be out here tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I would just need to get something. Uh, okay. Right okay. Yeah. You see, my wife is clearly upset because of the storm, and you know, it be. No, I just want I just want things to be fair. I don't want you all to try to railroad us. I want y'all to take care of us. I don't want that um, you're trying to downplay the storm. You told my husband that it looks like the shingles will put up there sideways. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. These shingles were not put up there sideways. This roof is not even that old. And we know that the storm. We know that the storm did that. Yeah, I mean, I just want us to be. I want us to be treated fairly. I do not want us to be mistreated. We've gone through enough with this storm, and we don't need to go through anything else. I need this problem fixed. So, if you could please do what you're supposed to do, I would appreciate it. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me go back here. Don't try to railroad me. Don't try to play me. I ain't got time for that. Buster, let me get from in the front of this house. Ooh, let me get from up here. I want it done right, and I mean it. I'm coming, y'all. I'm trying to get out these people's way. I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> I didn't put you on camera. Let me get us, let me get set back up, y'all. Okay. I'm calming down. Ciao. 
Y'all, you ain't seen Mrs. H irate. <laughs> I'm not irate at all. <laughs> Woo. This is just me being a little agitated. Yeah. Actually, when I started recording, <laughs> he wasn't supposed to even be here this early. He was supposed to be here later. So I wasn't even anticipating him coming when he did. He was supposed to be uh, a couple of hours later. But, and, and that's the only reason why we went live, because we was just talking about the trees. But God does everything for a reason. So he said he's gonna give everything over to his supervisor. I'm like, okay, good. That's what you need to do. Yeah, this is enough. I mean, come on now. People go through things like this. We ain't, we ain't got time for this stuff here for people to be trying to railroad you. And Farmers Insurance ought to be ashamed of themselves for even having people like that on their team. They ought to be ashamed of themselves for that. They need to get better people. People that actually care about what folks have gone through when they go through things like this. I've seen um, in videos where people have had tornadoes and blood damages and all that kind of stuff. And sometimes the insurance people are just rude, downright rude. They need to do better with that. They need to do better. You send people out that don't care. You send people out that make it plain that they really ain't trying to pay nothing in so many words. They make it plain. And, and that's what farmers insurance got going on. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. That's pathetic. Now I've heard about State Farm. I've heard about State Farm. Them, them folks. I've heard about them. Yeah, so that water damage in my house is clear. It's plain to see. It's plain to see. Yeah. Mr. H wasn't gonna let me come over there at first. <laughs> Trying to keep me back. <laughs> yeah. Come on, he don't want to be on camera. He wasn't on camera. I don't want to see that face of his, no way. <laughs> Woo. That is insane. That is insane. Exactly. How you gonna half do a roof? What, what they gonna do? Do the back part of the roof and, and that one side over there and leave the rest of it? How you gonna do half a roof? You see the stupidity? <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all, I told you. He don't want to be on camera because he know he's doing wrong. That's right, but that's okay. That's okay, he wasn't on camera, but I guarantee you, you know who I'm talking to. Yeah, you know who I'm talking to. Yeah, he know he doing wrong. He know that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna cover half the roof. So if the storm hadn't hit, the whole roof was fine. So if the storm hadn't hit, and the roof was fine, 
now is damaged by the storm. Yeah. That's not our fault. So who's supposed to cover the other half of the roof then? Since it was completely, since the, all the damage to the roof was done by the storm, who's supposed to cover the part that wasn't damaged by, uh, by the storm? Since he said it was a part that they can't cover, who's supposed to cover it then? That's not in the policy. So you telling me if 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 half of my drywall is damaged and you have to, but the whole sheet got to come out, you only gonna cover half the drywall? Who gonna cover the other the other half of the drywall? Who gonna do that? Lashonda, they do want that money every month, don't they? And we pay them. Not on time, ahead of time. Ahead of time. We always a month ahead. In fact, they owe us money right now. If we cancel, they owe us right now. Because we pay ahead. Because you just never know if something's going to happen. So you always try to be a month ahead on your bills, or even two months if you can afford to do it. If we cancel with them today, they owe us a check. Yeah, and then the roof won't even match. How stupid is that? I'm going to have brand new shingles. And then I'm going to have some other shingles. Yeah, he was looking at that other fence where that big tree at. Yeah. And I had to show him that it was a fence over there. Yeah. Because those cows get, you know, they, those cows come, uh, out, you know, Hold on. Way. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, y'all, I had to show him that other side, that fence where that big tree fell down at. It's a fence on that side, but you can't see it right away. So, you know, I had to go over there and show him that to make sure he put that in. But, like I say, you just gotta make sure you stay on top of it and show him everything. He said he was gonna get with his supervisors and see what his supervisors say. But I was letting him know and he was saying something about we had a tarp up there. I was like, no, we didn't have a tarp up there. He said he seen some old roof in there with a tarp. He said, no, there was no tarp. He said, no, don't say that. There was no tarp up there. So. But so what if it was a tarp up there? If we did put a tarp up there, so so what? So what? What would we? What are we supposed to do if it's gonna rain? Then we still got to put something up there to keep more water from coming in our house. So what was the point of even saying that anyway? Yeah. That man is crazy. Yeah. That man is absolutely insane. He done lost all his senses. See, when people uh, pay their insurance every month. You know, I mean, if, if we lapse on insurance, then, you know, they'll cut our policy off. But when we pay up and then when something happens, then they come out with ways how they can not pay you. So it's all a scandal it in a certain scandal. way when you send somebody out that don't want to cooperate and look at the damage. Exactly. Exactly. So, so I just wanted to make sure that I explained everything and showed him everything so he have the evidence without getting all, you know, like... But he want to run off and, and not put everything in. So, you know, I, I, I did my part, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. So, yeah. Oh, oh I think I'm supposed to be over here, though. <laughs> yeah. So. I, I got to send some photos in. What photos? Of uh, my license is information to my job so they can get an assistant. So I'm going to do that, okay? Okay. Shout out your front window. What? Oh, 
something adjusted. Okay, I'm gonna look into that. Metro Public Adjustments. He done walked away again, so I can't look at the. <laughs> Yeah, they're not paying for the trees, but they ain't on the house, remember? They got to be on the house. It don't matter that they about to fall on the house. They got to be on the house. And then he was trying to talk in the, in the vehicle, so Everybody couldn't hear what he was saying. He was trying, I'm like, could you come out? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. And he's trying to be in the vehicle and talk like, uh, look, what am I supposed to be doing? Leaning in his vehicle to try to hear what he got to say? <laughs> yeah, and you know why he was doing that? Because he know he was being crooked. Yeah, if you're doing right, you don't care if somebody hear what you got to say. If you're right, you ain't trying to hide. Right? Yeah. You ain't trying to hide if you're doing right. No, he in there talking all low. I ain't finna even try to break my eardrums. Strain my neck trying to hear what you saying. Could you come out? Could you talk to me? <laughs> Woo! People, I'm telling you. And I know it just don't happen to us. Oh no, I would never do that. I wouldn't cancel until this is paid. I wouldn't do that. No. And, and, and I had to make it plain. Look, you know, people go through enough with these kinds of storms. You shouldn't be trying to make the lives more complicated and give them, put more on them. You shouldn't be doing stuff like that, farmers insurance. You shouldn't do that. No insurance should be doing that. You should be helping people. You should be helping these people instead of making life, distressing them out even more. Shouldn't be doing folks like that. That's wicked. That's pure D wicked. Boy, they taking that, they bringing that down piece by piece. Piece by piece. I'm so happy that they're doing that too. Woo. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, you back. You need to slide yeah. over make, make some room. You still can look at your comments? I can now that you've been brought your phone back. <laughs> you know it's a hot spot. Yeah, I know. It's on your phone. <laughs> well, I know Mrs. A It'll say... It'll come back on. Mrs. A say she was on uh, 10. No, you was on 5, but I was like, you on 10. Definitely was on 10. You think so? Was I on 10, y'all? No, no, you. I thought I was more like on 5. Uh, no, I, yeah, I think you probably was. Was I on they 10? They don't want to see you when you're on 10, baby. I, think I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I was on 10. <laughs> yeah. They don't want to see you. I think I was like a 5, maybe a 5 and a half. <laughs> maybe a 5 and three. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Man. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh, let me go to the chat now. There we go. Lisa say nine and a half. You said nine and a half. I want that nine and a half. <laughs> yeah, I think I was somewhere around that five and a five and three four. Sure hate to see you when you're on eight or nine, huh? <laughs> no, I, I don't ever want to be there. Yeah, but, but this situation is... Uh, stressful. Yeah, it's very stressful. Uh, 
you know. It's very, very, very stressful, y'all. Yeah. It's very stressful. I can't even imagine what people go through where they home was just gone, right? I can't even imagine it. Yeah. I can't even imagine it. I just, that has got to be horrible. That is just yeah. horrible. And then if they survive it, and they just, and you see them, you see people after tornadoes and other kind of severe weather events, they just be standing there and they be talking about, this is where my living room used to be and this oh, is where man. my bathroom. See, my yeah. heart go out for people like that. Yeah. That's why I don't understand how insurance companies can give people like that a hard time. They've already been through so much. Mm -hmm. They've already been through so much. Yeah. Why, why compound that? Why do that to people? Yeah. That's just evil to me. That's very evil to me. For people to take advantage of people when they down, kick them when they down, don't try to help them up. Yeah. See, that's what these insurance companies like to do. Yeah. That's just bad. That's really bad. Yeah. Yeah. That was bad. Hey. Well, I don't, uh, what I can say is that you just hope for the best. Hopefully he don't uh, do anything that's, you know. And right, he's not an electrician. He's not an electrician. But he could have at least went up there and looked at the wire damage. She could have seen that the wires probably were split in half. He could have been, if we don't have power to one side of our house, there's a problem somewhere, right? Did, did he go in our bedroom? Yeah. I showed him the, the bathroom where the ceiling was, you know, above the tub. Water came in it, that part there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I showed him all of that. So this man went all through our house. This buster went all through our house. Looking at the damage firsthand, because the pictures apparently wasn't good enough. So he's looking at the damage firsthand. And you still, what more does he need to see? Did we go up there and put holes up there? Did we, okay, did we take the tree down? And then we jam it into the roof. The stupidity of people, I'm telling you, the stupidity of people just, I just don't understand. I don't understand. I just don't understand. This man told my husband. <laughs> this man told my husband that the shingles was put on the house crooked. He that he put them on this. <laughs> Did somebody put the shingles on side <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Somebody put them shingles on sideways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh I told him now. Oh my the god. Shingles, the shingles wasn't like that. Somebody put the shingles. <laughs> that man said somebody put the shingles on our house crooked. <laughs> He's saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now shingles. <laughs> He's saying now all the shingles on our house. They go like they supposed to go, but some of them are this way, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he say somebody put the shingles on sideways. 
I don't know no roofing company that, 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 that's gonna put no shingles on the side You know. They put the shingles on sideways. Now all of our years of living here. You know how many times my husband have been up on that roof? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't never seen a sideways shingle. Not yeah. one. <laughs> but now they are now they sideways because of the wind, right? The wind. Yeah. But he say somebody put them up there like that. <laughs> but we gonna see when he called back. I got his car. That man now. I don't know who State Farm got working for them, but they need to fire that son of a gun. They need to get somebody out that they need to get real folks who know what they doing. Hmm. Yeah. They need to fire that one. He said he got to look in the policy and see see what what all how it uh, entails. We got our own policy. He can look too. We got a copy of it too. Yeah. And I've already reviewed it. So we got the same policy. Yeah. He can do what he want to do. That is ignorant. Hmm. Pay for half the roof, huh? <laughs> Oh wow. boy. But you know what? He said, I'm not an electrician. So he wouldn't look at the electric. You got a roof for Eva. So how can you say somebody put the shingles on the side of it? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> he had to be on something. Somebody would. <laughs> I, th I think his job is to go out and make sure they don't that's his job. You know, they don't come out of their pocket and pay yeah. for, for, for damages and trying to minimize it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And you probably get a bonus after you do that or something. Yeah. And I know the tornado shifts everything because that window won't even close. Did you try to close it? Because I couldn't close it. No, I, I, I didn't try. I tried. I can't even get that window all the way closed. Yeah. The blinds was, you know, the blinds was being ripped out and stuff, you know? Yeah. I'm telling you, boy. Woo. Yeah. That was a that was a uh, that was a terrifying experience for me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It was very terrifying for me. And uh, to have gone through something like that. And I think the the second part of that is when they come out and they don't really want to help you, you know? Yeah. They don't really want to help you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. So they, they, still, they still cut. They still cutting that tree back. They ain't got that twisted. <laughs> I guess they saving that big twisted one for last. Yeah. Yeah, they saving that for last. Yeah. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> but y'all, I think we're gonna get out of here. Yeah. Unless y'all wanna stay on. We've been on here for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> You've been on for two hours, huh? You've been on this. We've been on for two hours. Yeah, we don't wanna hold y'all up. Yeah, we don't wanna hold y'all up. I wanted to be um, doing some things and out here in the garden, and I probably need to do that. I probably need to just uh, take a moment for us to <clears throat> say a prayer and um, calm down and and all of that, you know. Yeah. 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 Sounds That's like what a good I idea. Need to do. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a good idea. I need to pray. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's a prayer right there. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. yeah. Like, hold on to me. <laughs> yeah. 
But y'all, I'm gonna say this, and uh, I mean, we gonna be out. Yeah. So let's go ahead and finish. Um, they doing a good job, I'm telling you. But y'all, I'm gonna say this before we go. And uh, this is uh, very important. Y'all always try your best to be kind to people and treat people the way you would want to be treated. Because what we went through, that could be any one of us. That could be any one of us going through something. And that insurance guy that came out here, he could be going through the same thing in the next month or so. It could be him next. And you never want to treat people in a way that you would not want it done to you. You would never want that. You would never want that. You would never want to be mean, cruel, and harsh to people unfair, unjust, just plain wicked. You won't want to be treated that way. So don't do it to nobody else. Because one thing I can assure you, God will not be mocked. You will not make a liar out of him. He said, whatever a man soweth, the same shall he also reap. Yeah. Be good to people. Don't be cruel. Don't be unkind. Don't be unjust. Be fair. I'm always afraid to do people wrong. You know why? Not because of the person. I'm always afraid of what God will do to me. Right? And I'm telling you, I was taught that to ask for the chastisement of God is like asking to be struck by lightning. Nobody wants that. It's like asking to be struck by lightning. So, I try to do right for right's sake. Not because somebody watching me, not because I'm afraid of what people might think, not because I'm afraid of what people might say. If you know anything about me, I could care less about what people think. Because <laughs> oh, that's none of my business. <laughs> but I'm always more afraid of what God will do. And I'm always more concerned with what God thinks of me as a person. Right? So just make sure Y'all be kind to people. Do right by people, okay? Yeah. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it. <clears throat> Miss Dave? Yes. Back again? Yeah, I'm back again. He's upset. I know he's upset. I know my husband, he's yeah. upset. But it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just want to see what what the results are. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. And we'll go from there. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I was just thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always thinking about different scriptures in the Bible as it relates to life, like <clears throat> and. Uh, one of the greatest arguments that was ever had in the Bible was with Jesus. When he was talking about, well, I'm just gonna paraphrase. He, he was having an argument, one of the greatest arguments ever had in scripture. <clears throat> but he said, if God was your father, you would love me. But you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth. He said, I know you. You are of your father, the devil. 
and the works of your father you shall do. He was a liar from the beginning, beginning and a murderer, right? He abode not in the truth. There's no truth in it. See, when people like that come around, we have to make sure that God is truly our Father. Not just in words, but in deeds. Because what that man is trying to get away with, who is his father? Who is his father? That was wicked. You know, our teacher always says, don't go around saying you a child of God and never grow up to be like your father. So y'all be good to people. Be kind to people. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah, who's your daddy? <laughs> Ooh. Treat people kind and treat people the way you want to be treated, y'all. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us today. Yeah. We appreciate y'all being with us. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank y'all so, so very, very much. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna take the big car down now. <laughs> okay. He bagging that truck up. <laughs> yeah, he bagging it up as y'all see. He's gonna take the twisted part down. <laughs> Woo. Everybody who's ready to go, y'all can go on and have a blessed, blessed and prosperous day. And we'll see y'all in the next video. I'm going to let this camera continue to roll because I want this on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want this on camera. Yeah, I'm going to get out of the way so they can see. I don't know why this is so exciting, but it is. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you want to see it too? My OG organic garden. <laughs> Yeah, they done got everybody out the way. I guess they is finna bring it down. Y'all wanna see? Let's see. Let's go up. You gonna keep it rolling? I'm gonna keep it rolling. I'm gonna try to lower it down like so. Ugh. But I'm gonna raise it up so they can see. That way I can see them too. <laughs> Why this is exciting, it is exciting. I don't know why, but it really is. So. Wow. I need to get something in there. Okay. We can, we, we'll handle it. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, the roosters think it's exciting too. <laughs> it was, it's really over the house. But y'all should have seen it earlier though. Y'all should have seen it earlier. There was that one branch that was like way over the house. Let me come closer. There we go, that's better. Don't go too far. You're gonna cut off my internet. <laughs> oh man. Huh? Um, we got plenty. In that bag in there. You want me to find it on there? The video to show you what I was talking about? Oh, you saw it? How oh, you know what I was talking about? Oh, you did? <laughs> Big trees near house scared me too. What you say? Yeah? But y'all always ask me if I have something. Y'all know I don't know what nothing is right now. 
But it, babe, where the wood glue at? Babe, you know where the wood glue at? I think huh? the wood glue. It's probably in the den. Look at that. Yeah. <gasps> you were sitting on that. No, no, he just put that thing on it. Oh. Yeah. It was already on it? Yeah, they were already on it. Oh, well, I don't see something. Oh, turn yeah. around. Turn around, baby. Let me see. You been walking and it's probably came out. No, I don't see nothing on you. This age was sitting in all them ants. You too. I don't see all of them. Melissa, the the plan. Wait a minute, let me see. I, babe, I think I'm behind on the chat. Try not to go too far with your hot spot, because that way I can keep the I can keep looking at the things. These won't be too big for the two by two. Okay, you give me just a few minutes. Okay. Okay, that's fine. The trees, the rest of the trees, they're not going to all be cut back um, today. Like I said, oh, he's still cutting that. Okay, they're not going to be all done today. They're going to be done over time. They're going to be done over time because like I said, this is very costly, you know. If you've ever had trees cut down or cut back, you know, that costs some money. That costs money. Yeah, so eventually, yeah, they are waiting. They are doing a good job, so I'm telling you. Janet, you know what? Putting a light on them, that was not even my intention today. Uh, we only went live because we wanted to show everybody that the trees were coming down. And that guy wasn't even supposed to be here till later on this evening, like one o'clock or something, you know? So he came early. And that's why I said if he came early, it was, it was meant for him to be on this camper. It was meant for all of that to be reported the way that it was. So. Yeah. Hi, Lavender Pearl. Insurance covered all your fallen trees. I need to know who your insurance company is because they didn't cover none of these. They didn't cover not a nail tree. Yeah, it's disconnected. They disconnected it and they. Wait, wait, what? Just one oak? Hold up. Wow, cost you five dollars to have them put back, yeah. Hi dog Grant, so glad you can make the live. You're right, Violet. Imagine how many other people that's dealing with this guy is having to deal with the same thing. Wow. And you can imagine how prices have increased since nine years ago. Fifi, nine years ago, them prices are way different today. But you know, we always try to support like uh, local businesses and stuff. You know, we always try to support businesses that are not far from us because we really wanna, you know, we really wanna just try to support 
<coughs> those that are around us. That's why we do so much <laughs> with folks in our area. My lot, my chat is behind on this thing here. On this one? On the tablet? Yeah, it's just a little bit behind, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, so if nothing else, you all, I hope that uh, all of you have homeowner's insurance and stuff like that. If nothing else, hopefully this will help you to uh, look closer into your own policy before something happens so that you'll be prepared, okay? <coughs> you'll be prepared. And don't think that the insurance adjuster is on your side. He ain't on your side. He ain't here to help you. In fact, I might have to retitle this video. <laughs> I might have to change the name of this video. It's just raining logs. It's raining logs. That's true. The risk of flooding does go up when you remove the trees, but, and then our house, we're on a slope. So, yeah, there's always risk involved. <coughs> One way or another, there's always risk involved. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all, whoo! Y'all saw that. Y'all saw that on camera. Y'all saw all of it on camera. Yeah. We, we could not have made this stuff up. <laughs> we could not have made, <laughs> we couldn't have made this stuff up. We could not have made this stuff up. <coughs> that guy said somebody put them shingles on sideways. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing at that for a long time this day. Thank you, Lisa. Have a great day. Oh, I tell you. Yeah, the insurance commission. Wow. Can y'all see him? Ooh. I mean, he's way up there. I don't know how high that is off the ground. Hey, Ken. If only we had a lumber mill. I would love to get that wood mill. Do you know how many two by fours and two by sixes we could get out of that tree? Good gracious me. With the cost of lumber being what it is, I'm gonna miss about that tree, y'all, is that in the summertime, our bedroom stayed cool. It was always cool in our room. I don't care how hot it was outside, our room was cool because of that tree. Now, it's gonna be scorching hot like every other part of the house. <laughs> now it's gonna be hot like every other room. Wow, and if it's 
taking them that long to do this tree. I don't know if, uh, it's just 1147. It's just 1147. So they got two trees to take down and Mr. H wants them to look at this tree that Tamu was sitting underneath as well. I mean, it's just raining branches. I'm watching them on the screen. <laughs> Would y'all like for us to do a live video showing us uh, planting in the garden? I would love to know if y'all would like to see that. You waiting on me? For what? Why you didn't say the soul? I did? I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? No two and a half inch screws. Now, that wood is not that big. That's so what we're using, and that's what it's using in the video. Okay, then, well, I guess so. That's what it's using in the video. Okay. And some glue. Okay, glue. that's fine. But I know we got some wood glue. Oh, I know exactly where it's at. It's um by my deep freezer. Okay. Uh -huh. In the den, in high room space. Uh, okay, y'all. Oh my God! I didn't know they was cutting down the other tree. So. He, he pushed that one down. He pushed it over. We missed it. We missed that other big tree coming down. They done took that tree down. That tree looked deadly. That's wicked, Ma. <laughs> that was the demon tree. That was a wicked, Ma. Do y'all see these logs falling, y'all? I'm telling y'all, this is what was falling on our house. And this man don't want to pay to get our roof fixed. You got to be kidding me. Damn. Y'all, it takes some brave folks to do stuff like that. I'm telling you. Ain't no way out here. Woo! That is way up there. Y'all see that tree? Y'all see Look that? Look how high he's going. Look how high he up there. But y'all see the way that tornado twisted that tree around? It was twisting that tree around. Look at that tree all twisted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they bring it, they taking that tree down over there. I'm so glad, and it, and, it, and it might be that they just literally pushed that tree over, because that tree, that was a very dangerous tree, y'all. When I would be walking out there, and I would always be looking up at that tree, walking past it, like, don't fall. <laughs> that's too high. I don't know how high that tree is, but that's too high. That is high. I'm missing comments from people. I can see them over here, but I can't see them over there. You don't want to use pine in your garden? Why? Why, Connie? Why wouldn't you use pine? Pine wood chips. 
Hey, David Corey. Where you been, David Corey? Where have you been? Ain't nobody seen you since Holly Peck was a pup. Where you been? I don't know if y'all can hear how loud that is. That is so loud when they hit the ground. McChick. You still watch all the time, we don't be seeing you. Did you see that bread video I did, David Corey? You do realize I did the bread, right? Mr. Ashton took the phone, now I ain't got no internet, ugly. He always do this. <laughs> Now we got 700 people in here watching a tree come down. <laughs> I knew I couldn't be the only one that likes stuff like this. I knew I couldn't be the only one. Good morning from Jamaica. Good morning from Jamaica. Melbourne, Australia is in the house. Why? I did that bread, David. I did that bread. I sure did. I won't do it again. <laughs> I mean, it did okay. It did okay in the jars. My jars came unsealed because of those lids that we got during the pandemic. I don't think those lids were the best. So my jars, all of them ended up popping before time. Y'all, that tree has been stripped bare. They are still out here. I think maybe they finna go to lunch or something. I don't know, but I hope not before he take their car down. So you can't wait all day for them to do this for I can't keep y'all on here. <laughs> like this. The good thing is right now is that I'm sitting down. I'm actually not working. I'm just sitting down. And that feels weird because I'm always doing something. Okay. Yeah, I'm always doing something. So for me to be sitting down this long kind of feels weird. Feels strange. You're in Gonzales since the flood of 2016. Wow. I don't think we have one close to us because I remember when we were looking for a meal to um, buy some uh, tree caps from we couldn't find one for like a hundred miles or so we couldn't find one yeah they're gonna get closer I think to that tree coming our way. Are they coming our way? I think they're coming our way. I might have to get up and move. Oh no, they're letting him clean up. You're not hitting my pro tank. <laughs> you better not hit my tank. I'm thinking I won't 
want a bigger propane tank than this. That little old tank, I think I need something way bigger. Post it for me to watch my email for help with the wood, okay? Oh, that's awesome. Rice and buckets with bay leaves. I can build my own sideways shingle. Thank you so much, Reginald. Yeah, they were trying to say the shingles was already, they, they tried to say the shingles was up there sideways, that the tornado didn't do that. Don't y'all store me on that no more. I'm calming down now. Don't store me on him again. That food right there. <laughs> Don't y'all scold me on him, my mom. I'm gonna tell y'all something. These guys came out here and went to work. You hear me? They don't. They ain't messing around. They get a job done. Don't know if we're talking about the side of his neck. All them little logs right there, I sure don't want to get rid of them. Y'all, I think we all gonna rent a chipper. I don't think I want them to take them branches away. I really don't. I'm gonna talk to Mr. H and see what he say. But I honestly don't want to get rid of all them branches. I really don't. I want to keep that and chip all of that up. Yes, ma'am. I do record everything. You sent me something last week? Okay, I'm, we're going to the post office. We're going to the post office this week. I think we're going tomorrow or Saturday, Mr. H. said. Yeah, I think we're going this weekend. I sure hope he said we can rent a chipper because if we can, that would be so awesome to be able to save all of that. It'll be some work now, but that's a whole lot. That fool will come out here and sweeping off the roof to put some circles around them hole. Okay, stop, Marie. Just cut it out. I'm sorry, I'm highly upset with that man. Yeah, they clearing all that stuff out the way because they are about to take that top off. Yeah, Azure Fire is affecting all liquids and I am so thankful that I got what I got when I did. That's right, Angela. I told y'all I don't be, I don't be, I don't be faking with y'all. This me. <laughs> this Mrs. H right here, this is me. I'm as real as they come. This is me every day. I, I just be who I am. I can't be nobody else. I sure hope so, but I don't know. I don't know what that's gonna be. What about my plants? What you mean, Angela? What you talking about? What plants? I need a portable bay. Huh? So, yeah. our beautiful viewers uh -huh. had an awesome idea. What's that? I'm going to do a video on the greenhouse. Don't worry, it's coming next. That maybe we should rent a chipper, keep all of that and chip that wood up so we can have wood chips for the garden. Oh, we would have to rent the chipper from like Home Depot. And I knew it idea. would be a lot of work, but I would 
I would not like to like keep it. Okay. What say you? It, it's a lot of. It's a lot of work, isn't it? Well, depends on how much gas the chipper costs. We can. We can do it. You know, they sell them things. Probably too bad about buying one. Oh, this wood. We saw one at uh, Northern Tool, but my God, babe, they were like 900 bucks. Yeah. That's how much it's going to cost to rent, rent it. How long they going to charge you day by day? Yeah. Check on your son, he just called. The other one. Yeah. Jalen? No, he just called my phone. I can't oh. answer. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we should like see how much somebody would, would charge us. Come out. No. How much somebody would charge us to come out here and chip it up too. But in any case, I think um I think we probably should hold on to it, babe. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, we can hold on to it and, and then get a chipper. Get a chipper. Get somebody to come. Oh, they finna take it down. Yeah, can you just call? Tell them yeah. we on live. Is he okay? Okay. No, it's recording. No, I ain't taking it Okay. Okay, yeah, just, just call me when you get there. Okay, let's see what they finna do here. I think he's gonna take it down like piece by piece, y'all. Yeah, I think he's gonna take it down piece by piece. Can they see it? Yeah, they can see it. Cause I'm watching it from here. Okay. My chat is behind. Oh yeah, he's gonna take that down in part. to be falling on our house. They're cutting off the twisty part. Oh. oh my goodness. See, that's why they couldn't hit our house. Huh? That's why they couldn't hit our house. They couldn't hit our house. That that tree could not hit our house. No, nah, it could. That would have tore our little old house up. <laughs> <laughs> that would have tore our little house up, y'all. <laughs> Good gracious. Man. Ooh, they better get out the way. Captain Caveman <laughs> and Son. <laughs> oh man, y'all wrong, man. <laughs> y'all something else. <laughs> that took me way back. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, babe, you're gonna talk to them about this one too, right? See if they could just take the the limbs down, huh? Yeah. 
That way we ain't got to worry about no more damage coming to that barn. Especially this one going that way. Yeah, and then the one hanging over our raised beds too, because yeah. that one is always dropping limbs, and that's the one that I'm afraid of. Really one, yeah. Yeah, so they could put that one back. I don't know how much it'll cost. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, since they already out here, because you know, sometimes when they're already out here working, yeah. if they're already out here working, then sometimes they'd be more lenient with the price if, versus if they have to come back with all that equipment, right? So that tree right like there is very, very dangerous. Well, he's taking that tree down, ain't he? Yeah. And the blessing with these trees, y'all, is that they're all oaks. So all of it is literally firewood. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get them to leave it. Miss A said it's good. We can get them to leave it and we just may call around to see if somebody could come out with a chipper and chip all of this up for us. Hello, Mrs. H and everyone. A chipper at Home Depot costs ninety-six dollars a day, three eighty-four a week. See, it comes with a trailer. It costs sixty-nine dollars to deliver one way. That's almost four hundred dollars for a week. Mm-hmm. I will go ahead and get one. So all these trees we got on. That's a lot of money, though, baby. Sure, it'd be cheaper. It'd be cheaper to buy one. Yeah, Cause we got all these, all that wood chipping we can do on it. Yeah. And that's half of the price of what, what it costs to get one. Yeah. But then what if we, it just takes long. I mean, and they work well together too. Do y'all see that? They work so well together. You can tell they've been doing this a while together because they work, oh, I missed a lot of comments. Yeah, it would be better to buy. Yeah. They work very well together. You can tell when people have been working together a long time, they're very cohesive with what they do. My goodness. They just know what to do. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying said, to get to these comments. He said he said uh, when he was up there cutting, he said the tree started splitting and scared him because it started splitting even more. What? From the top. Wow. So that's why he stuck on that one side. Yeah. Because it was split. I know, yeah, I, I told y'all that tree was splitting. It had pull, it was pulling apart even more. Yeah, because it was leaning more and more. Uh-huh. That's why he went ahead and stuck with that whole thing. Like. Yeah. That's a lot of wood, yeah. This is a good company, y'all. This is um, uh, Harris Bro Brothers Tree, tree Service. Service. Harris Brothers Tree Service. Broke Farmer, if you're still on, they in your area. They right there in Lizella. Yeah. They don't do chipping. They don't have a chipper. That's why they can't chip it up. They don't have a chipper. They just haul it away. Let me see the comments over here. Still got Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, it is cheaper in the long run to just buy the chippers. $800. Hey, Erica, my perfect baby. Yeah, that's a good idea. Don't 
let them pile all their money away. So now they're gonna pull down a bigger chunk. Whoa, Lord! Man, <laughs> that's so serious. Man. They doing it. Yeah. You do tree work in North Carolina. The power company, Scott says, hard work. Thank you, Lafayette. Or Lafayette or Lafayette Lewis. A lot of use for this wood. Yeah, that's why we're gonna tell them to leave it all right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, they'll trim them back. <laughs> they'll trim them back for a price. <laughs> they'll do whatever we want them to do out here <laughs> for a price. But we are gonna have them to come back in uh, the rest of the trees that's over our house and cut them back. We are gonna get that done, but just not today y'all you have no idea how expensive it is to just for them to get these two trees down yeah it's a strong bomb cat yeah I love trees so much, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I hate to see trees get cut down. Mr. H will tell you. I'm always talking about, I don't want the trees cut. I don't want the trees cut. Baby, they got to come down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want them cut. I don't want them cut. You know how long it took that tree to grow? <laughs> but in cases like this, they got to come down. Safety first. They got to come down, y'all. I ain't trying to get y'all in the nostrils, I just want y'all to see And I want to be able to see y'all too. Volunteer potatoes. Oh, I have missed a lot of comments. You're looking for videos on canning potatoes? Go to my pressure canning playlist. It's in there. Yeah. They are very good at their job. Okay, wait a minute. There we go. They are very good at their job. Violet, it hit us on the 4th. On the 4th of April.
Thank you, the remaining remnant. I have a video on canning navy beans and black beans. You can them all the same way. You can season them however you want, but that's you can pretty much do beans the same. Make sure you soak them though. Get all that gas out of there. My persimmons, yes, yes they did. The percent, the storm did not go, it, it didn't hit our orchard. It didn't hit our orchard, but it did, it did get our greenhouse pretty good. That's terrible that you have to go through all of that to get them to pay. That's terrible. Tell yeah, you what, that bobcat doing his job though. <laughs> That big one? I did. Harbor Freight has one for five hundred dollars as a wood chipper. Harbor Freight? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you just get a <laughs> you get a I don't know about Harbor Freight. <laughs> Harbor Freight stuff right down the next day. <laughs> oh boy. Harbor Freight. Oh man. Just say you know how I am about Harbor Freight, y'all. That Harbor Freight boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> you. You might get 24 hours out of it. <laughs> <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> Ooh -wee. I don't know about them. <laughs> I don't know about Harbor Freight. I don't know about them, baby. <laughs> Got another big one. I'm just gonna pull that whole thing up. Can y'all see them doing it? Oh, let me bring y'all down some. There you go. That's gonna be a pretty big chunk right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they got it tied off to the bobcat this time. Yeah. He's pulling it. He could have wedged it. Just that it was too Oh, pieces. just that piece, okay. That big piece. Y'all, this tree was like multiple trees in one. 
this tree had two or three trees. <laughs> Dollar say, Dollar say, everybody this is Harbor Freight, but she like Harbor Freight. They do have some nice stuff, Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> yeah, we need to get love notes to start a YouTube channel. I'm just saying, they're putting it out there. I know that was random, but I just put it out there because she's very small. She know a lot of stuff. I'm just saying, maybe you should. Start a channel. <laughs> Share some of your wisdom. That's all I'm saying. Love notes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dolores. trying to get yours up and going wildflower homestead just get started and have fun when you're doing it just be you i'm so glad y'all are here with us y'all we didn't beat lead farm hold on how long we been on here oh no nah, we ain't beat him <laughs> what? we had three hours almost but y'all know they had done, done a live that was like four hours and something. Oh, man. <laughs> now nah, we ain't got him beat yet. Nah. But we are on lead standard time. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are on lead standard time. Our neighbor just came home. He works so much. Just like my husband works a lot. He works a lot, too. I know he would be over here helping us, too. He's just that kind of guy. He mm -hmm. will come and help you. But yeah. he does work a lot. He's always gone. Woo! So I'm trying to get him my ear. <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie Valadez say, uh, <laughs> Let's be led for my line. <laughs> Stephanie, didn't you have a birthday the other day? Because I think I saw uh, Grow Family Network singing to you, singing happy birthday to you. I think you had a birthday this past week. Oh, yes, you're right. Our moderators are like all that and 25 million bags of chips. Our moderators are awesome, y'all. We love our moderators. Yes, we do. And they know a lot. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Stephanie had a birthday. Grow Family Network was singing happy birthday to her on his live. I was like, go on and sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Stephanie. We are in Georgia. No, Peyton, ain't nobody got nothing good to say about State Farm. They was talking about insurance companies, you know, trying to find a good one, but State Farm wasn't one of them. We knew a lot of folks who had State Farm during uh, Katrina. And we all know what they did in that situation. You're in North Georgia, healthy homesteading. Erica, my family flies in Southern Georgia. That's right, Peyton, you're right. Oh my God, I lose you? Still on. Oh my goodness, babe. I think my battery is gonna. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I could. Uh, can't even see. 
Ooh. Oh man, babe. Can you use that? Well, not if this battery fixing the go. I can't even tell what percentage I'm on. The screen that got dark. I hate when my phone does that. It it automatically dims the screen and you can't even see. You oh man. You want to use my phone? Okay, y'all, I'm gonna have to shut this down and we'll be back. All of y'all don't have to come back if you don't want to. I mean, I'm just really glad y'all are kind of hanging out with us, but I'm about to lose my battery. So we're probably just gonna start another live with Mr. H's phone. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end this live because I can't even see the screen. We're gonna end this live and then we'll start another live because I don't know. I'm enjoying hanging out with y'all today. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in a bit. I can't even see the turn.